Hey fairies, this is going to be a video that's so completely different from the rest of my videos. I don't usually make many gaming vids, but this one I thought would be really fun to do because I'm a big fan of Jenna Marbles and Julian Salamita. And I watch them all the time, all of their vlogs, especially the ones that they had during Vlogmas 2016, because it's now Happy New Year 2017! I wanted to show you something that I put a lot of effort into, and it might be a little bit creepy, but at the same time it's a lot of fun, so I hope you don't mind that I acted a bit like a stalker. I'm not a stalker, I just am very invested. Let's get this little house tour started. Sims 4 doesn't have any pets, and I am so upset about that. I wish I could make Kermit and Marbles and Peach, that would be amazing to do. Maybe if people request this, I'll make them into human form and I can play them. Ideally right now, I'm just going to have one episode and you're going to see basically Jenna and Julian in their house. Alright, so here's the front door. Now we don't really know what Jenna and Julian's house looks like outside for obvious reasons. Walking through the front door. Here's a foyer. This might be a closet and next room is the office. This is the best recreation I could do. I even found a little keg that I could put on Julian's desk like when he was brewing his own drink. I couldn't get curtains to surround this little area and put a chair in, but this is very close to their little dream cubby hole thing. There's Jenna's desk. Across the hall we have the living room. <gasps> hey, it's Jenna eating salad! They had a rug that was pretty close to the one that Jenna and Julian have in their living room. In the back we have a little dining area. I couldn't fit the treadmill in, but everything else is pretty close. Here's the back hallway. This door leads to a closet area, while this one leads to the podcast room. There were no circular tables for the podcast room, but this was the best I could do. I gave them two microphones and then a green curtain for that green screen. The other side of this hallway has the kitchen. And their kitchen was very easy to recreate. I tried to get it as close as possible. I saw there was a door here, and I figured that was probably some sort of pantry or something, so I made it into that. Gave it a side door to go into the patio, which I will show later. Here's another living area. The little bar here that they have. Table. And the little entertainment system on the couch. This room, I know, is a bathroom. Let me remove the walls for this one. And the room next door on the left, we've never seen that room, so I have no idea what room that is. So I left it bare. Now we're back in the foyer. We've gone a complete circle. So now that we've done that, we can go up the stairs. And this is my favorite part. If you look here, you got Jeffrey! And I had to make sure that his name was Jeffrey. I went on Twitter and tried to ask Jenna and Julian, but you know, they can't always be on Twitter. So I thought maybe I could ask some of the Dink fam, and Soph said their name was Soph, which is not. Thanks, Soph. Colin had to give his opinion, and I'll just, I'll put that right there. Jenna, Julian, you'll have to rename Jeffrey this. Lobo Explosivo for you, everybody. Round of applause. <laughs> Luna over there giving her opinion. Anyway, hi Jeffrey! He looks great, I tell ya. Up the stairs! Oh, this is gonna be difficult. Ah, oh, I'm stressed. So, after the foyer, we have this little hallway that leads out and you can see the living room. And they had a bunch of wardrobes lined up, so I put those there. If you keep going, you got the workout room! And who is that in there? Julian! Alright, see, so the thing with Julian is, when he's in his workout clothes and his sleeping attire, he has long hair. But when he's not, there he is, in his regular outfit. And his hair's pretty close, I have to say, but I couldn't get it to be his popsicle yellow or yellow and blue. And I got some of his equipment together, from when he would play baseball, and some workout machines, because, you know, there are no weight sets in Sims. So, close enough. We're back in the hallway, across the stairs, and then we are led into this other hallway. So we're gonna go into the side room. And here we have 
Be our yes. guest. Be our guest. Be our guest. Be our guest. And this was really simple to do. Just lamps, regular bed. It's a smaller room, but it's kind of believable. Is this where Debbie stayed? Happy birthday, Debbie. I'm recording this on your birthday. <laughs> and there's a little bathroom in here. Not sure too much what it looks like, but basic bathroom. Then right next door to that room, we have the arts room. Their room is a lot bigger and a lot better. I love it. It's such a cute little room. Their closet, I know, is made a little bit differently. I didn't get it completely down. They, their closet's kind of behind their room in a way. So this is as close as I could get it for now. Oops, this does not go there. Pretend you didn't see that. There we go. Okay, now it's perfect. And I assume they have a balcony out there that you can kind of see through the door. And then their awesome master bathroom with the big tub. I couldn't get mirrors surrounding the walls. I just put one single big mirror and that's the best I could do for now. There's each of their sinks and then another door to the balcony. I assumed that these balconies are connected. And that was a basic tour of the upstairs. Let's head to the last area which happens to be one of my favorites. Here's the backyard. That rug I was so happy with because it's almost exactly the rug that they have. Then the area where the dogs completely just run around. Oh, it's a tree. I love this area because I feel like it's so similar. And that's the basics of the house that I made. Everything else, the outside, all of that, I'm not good with designing that. And of course, I have no idea what their house looks like again. But this is the best I could do with that. Now I'll show you the characters some more. Jenna's outfit I love because she's wearing an outfit very similar to something she owns. She has a red plaid shirt that she wears usually long and open or closed, either way. And so I thought that would probably be her best day-to-day -day outfit. Body massage tutorial. Step one. Pick a part of the body that you would like to massage. I'm gonna go for a nice shoulder massage. Now I want to show you their outfits. I think it'd be really cool for you to see the rest of what they have. Here are their formal outfits. I love Julian so much because I feel like I've seen him wearing similar outfits all the time. Jenna's, I couldn't find any dresses that really matched her style. The hair, however, is my favorite part. I absolutely love their party outfits. I've seen Julian wearing a few jean jackets and I thought this one would be best for him. And then Jenna, I had her hair split down the middle because there's a few videos that she does that. I also love the makeup that she's wearing. Highlight on point. Julian's face really came out the way I wanted it to. Jenna's, I feel like I could do more work on, but then I'd just be spending my whole life trying to fix it. I think this is as close as it can get. Jenna and Julian are best friends with my sims, Zeldin, which is me, and Lan, which is my boyfriend. And you can watch a video of us on our gaming channel doing the hand dance. I really enjoyed getting to make them and play them. I got to really bond with their characters. It was fun to be able to pretend that we were real life friends, even though I'd like to think that we are anyway. I really hope you enjoy this video and if you're watching Jenna and Julian, I promise I'm not a creep and I hope you think your sims are cool. If you like what you saw, please give me a like and subscribe to become a fairy today. Thanks for everything, guys. And Jenna and Julian, thanks for your amazing videos. They make me laugh all the time and I'm excited to see whenever you upload. I hope you enjoyed our auto hand dance and I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching. See you later, fairies. Bye!